Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Greg, and I'm going to go over an update uh, polka dot for you. Let you guys know what I think is going on. Polka dot's at the moment of truth, guys. It really is. So here's the deal with uh, polka dot. Okay, I have it on the 12 hour chart. You can see with polka dot. I pull open this RSI. Let me clean that up for you so you can see it a little bit better. You can see in the RSI it came down. And it's looking like it's coming down on a fifth wave, maybe an extended um, first wave up for the second, third, fourth, fifth, in my opinion. Could be wrong about that, but here's what's interesting about polka dot. There's that regular low right over there, 597, and here it is. It's coming down to test that low. So what I mean by the moment of truth, the low is uh, 596, coming all the way back down, and either this is going to be your qualifying statement, or my qualifying statement, I should say, if this is bullish, or if it's going to be bearish, if this is bullish, or if it's going to be bearish. Um, I looked at polka dot overall picture, just looking, let's go back out. Let's go out to a weekly chart and just looking at its wave structure that it came down. Could it be coming down one, two, three, four, five? Because that's what that would have to be or W, X, Y, X, Z. I don't think it's going to be that, but like that. And, um, you know, if that's the five, then this has to all be one one wave swing right here like this, a three, three, five. So I'm not really in favor of that one. That seems a little bit uh, a little bit egregious, if you will, just with that count. So it's just basically going to come up and, um, you know, it, an asset like a cryptocurrency like Polkadot, which is obviously kind of weak, it did make a nice move off of there and it came back around. It's coming back to test those lows to probably that's what they like to do, get everybody bearish again and just get it right there. And there's you're probably going to think that Polkadot's real bearish. You have to realize if it maintains that low, guys, more than likely you're sitting on a one, two right there. The alternate way would be this is a one, two. This is your third wave up for a fourth and a fifth. And it could be like maybe doing a diagonal. So it could go one, two, three, back up onto a four, hit the uh, price target area of wave one, and then come down on two five or something like that. You know, that's all speculation. But to me, just uh, let's go out to a daily chart, take a look at the uh, RSI. And it came down like that up. And, um, you know, it does look good for a three-way move. You know, there's no divergence in there. It, it's pretty clean. It's pretty clean for a three-way move. Let's take a look at the uh, FIB extension. And I'll keep the wicks out for the time being. So, yeah, I'll look at that. That one-to-one -one is right there, guys. Take it off log, check it. Yeah, one-to-one's down the bottom. The one-to-one -one on logarithmic is right there above that low. So, yeah, right there, guys. I mean, like, uh, if you're interested in polka dot, you know, here's the thing. It's coming down real slow. You can see the, the uh, if I go out to a four hour chart, you see how it's just kind of just taking its time to go down. And now that you have the four hour chart, you can see this move, probably your wave one, two, your three, right? Deepest in the RSI back up and now it's coming back down and just slowly gravitating its way uh, right back down there to make that five wave sequence. And, um, you know, it's gonna be a good area. I don't think Polkadot's not gonna rip out of there after that, but this is gonna be the area more than likely where polka dot's going to be doing its thing and wind around this area to get ready to uh, make a run, guys, in the next, uh, when the market's go perhaps a little bit more bullish. And the thing is with polka dot, too, that I like about it is that sometimes I check polka dot to see what's going on with Bitcoin. So as an example, I posted a tweet on my Twitter page right here, okay? I posted this tweet with a potential move that Bitcoin is probably making a five-way move down on Twitter. And um, this is potentially the same thing. So it's going to come down, have a little bit of that bullish divergence. And then what's it going to do over here? Is it going to swing up into a corrective wave to swing back down? Or what's going to do remains to be seen. But I just think it's interesting how low it's coming to the lows. And this fifth wave, you know, I, I'd be willing to say that fifth wave right here probably just come like right to there, 603, and barely just hit that, uh, get near that low is what I'm thinking is going to happen with polka dot guys. So anyhow, it's going to be interesting how this plays out. But going back with uh, Bitcoin, it's just looking at polka dot too. So, you know, with polka dot, is a polka dot making a, a finishing a correction right here 
and then it's going to be consolidate to get out of there maybe to it'll probably make another one too so if you go look at the uh, past history of polka dot over here you can see uh, a similar um similar type move you see how it went up on a wave kind of like oh you say that can go up on a wave and it came back down aggressively went back up and then it could do something like that too so you know possibly it might just go back up and then do another correction. So you can see this came down, went back up, and it was in the correction, didn't finish it till right there. And then in this area on polka dot, it started making one twos. These are actually one twos, one twos, one twos. It made three one twos. And then you can see what polka dot did next. Bam. Okay. So that's what those are right there. One two, one two, one twos. And just finished this correction. It looks like right about there or maybe there. That could have been a one two also, guys. It's higher. So you can kind of see the similar pattern with polka dot right here, guys, you know, over in this area. You know, more than likely, it's going to respect this trend, too. These are two trends I'm keeping my eye on. This trend right here that came through and then on top of that wave in this area right here. So, all right, guys, that's the end of my update with uh, polka dot. If you made it all the way to the end, do me a huge favor. Drop a like. Hit the subscribe button. Peace.